Welcome to Farm Estate News. Here are the top headlines from Farmer World. Granules India gets USFD not for pain relief drug. Granules India Ltd on April 18th announced that the US Food and Drug Administration approved its abbreviated new drug application ANDA for acetaminophen 650 mg tablets extended release a generic version of Tylenol 650 mg tablets extended rail. WHO releases first guideline on digital health interventions. WHO today released new recommendations on 10 ways that countries can use digital health technology, accessible via mobile phones, tablets and computers, to improve people's health and essential services. India to be one of the world's fastest growing bio hubs in 2019, says CPHI. India has over 70 approved biosimilars in the domestic market, more than any other country and market penetration, which is currently relatively low, is expected to increase quickly in 2019 as the middle classes in Korea. Say Demand HIV Drug Makers VIIV, Gilead Top 2018 Pharma Reputation Survey In third place was Johnson & Johnson Pharma Unit Janssen, which moved up from fifth place last year. Here in one whale, Arbindo recalls 88 k lidocaine injections from US. According to a notification put up by the US drug regulator in its website, these vials were manufactured in India for Aromedics Ferna LLC. US FDA grants fast-track designation to CTX-001 for treatment of transfusion-dependent beta-thalassemia. CRISPR Therapeutics and Vertex Pharmaceuticals Inc. announced that the US Food and Drug Administration FDA, has granted fast-track designation for CTX-001 for the treatment of transfusion-dependent beta-thalassemia TDT. IBM to wind down Watson's work in AI-based drug discovery, says report. IBM has previously rolled out some high-profile partnerships, though not entirely in drug discovery, including with Pfizer, Novartis and Illumina in cancer research, as well as with Teva to explore drug repurposing. Beringa Partners protect to develop immuno-oncology candidates. Beringa Ingelheim has formed an alliance with US-based Patek Health to develop new drug candidates for a variety of targets using lymphatic targeting technology. Pfizer and Lilly announced top-line results from long-term phase 3 study of tanizumab in patients with osteoarthritis. Tanizumab is a monoclonal antibody that is part of an investigational class of non-opioid chronic pain medications known as nerve growth factor NGF, inhibitors. Bayer hires new blood to stem Amazon effect in consumer health. German drug maker Bayer has hired the head of Nestle's baby food business to help it reverse a drop in revenue from consumer health brands, which often fail to appeal to buyers on Amazon and other online platforms. Details you can visit the news link shown with the news bite. And for quick pharma industry updates, download Pharma State app.